Okay, we're going to do this uh, motion problem to help you review with your uh, equations for your quiz and your tests coming up. A ball is thrown upward near the edge of a 300 meter high building with a velocity of 20 meters per second, assuming no air resistance. Calculate the following. So we have calculate the time the ball is traveling upwards, calculate the maximum height of the ball above the ground, and then last, calculate the velocity when the ball is 65 meters above the ground. So a reminder, our ground is our reference point for all these questions. So this uh, short explanation will We'll, uh, we'll tackle A, and then in the subsequent videos we will we'll tackle B and C. So for A, I'm just going to start by writing down everything that I know. I know that the, uh, the building, which is our initial displacement, is 300 meters high. I know the initial velocity is 20 meters per second, and that direction is upward. So it's very important to understand that direction and what it means. On Earth, acceleration always negative 9.81 meters per second squared for us, and the negative just indicates that it's down. All of our directions are measured relative to going up, so I'll put a little up in brackets here. The negative means it's down. And last, what we're trying to figure out is the time. The time to go all the way up before it starts to fall back down. So we have all of our equations there are all the uh, information that's given. What we're missing now kind of is what formulas you use and one key piece of information the problem doesn't tell you and it assumes you know. The final velocity for a ball traveling to its maximum height is zero meters per second. It will stop instantly and then come back down. So of, of these uh, quantities given, we're not going to use anything with our displacement, but we will use the acceleration is defined as change in velocity, final minus initial, divided by your time. And we can then solve for our time. So putting our values in, acceleration negative 9.81, and that equals our final velocity, zero, minus the initial, divided by time. Okay. Cross multiply, or uh, both sides, to get you negative 9.81 multiplied by the time equals negative 20. Divide both sides by negative 9.81. And so the resulting time in the air going up is around about 2.0 seconds. Uh, makes sense. 20 meters per second. Each second gravity takes away about 10 meters per second. So about two seconds to go all the way up before it starts to come back down again.